Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Today's is from April 1st, and I quote, Your guardian spirit knows your life plan and what you intended to accomplish in this lifetime from the challenge of the mind by Master Di Hokawa. Thank you, Master Okawa. All right, so um, Master Di Hokawa has taught us that each and every one of us has a guardian spirit. And our guardian spirits is actually a part of our soul, so a part of our soul group. And it's usually, um, most cases, is it's usually our past life. Uh, and he or she is guiding us throughout this lifetime. Uh, and um, in today's Words of Wisdom, as Master is teaching us, he or she uh, knows our life plan because before we're born, we usually draft out like a brief life plan of what we want to accomplish in this lifetime. So uh, we forget that though. That's like the uh, basic rule of going through life here on Earth. Because if we remember everything, what's the whole point? Um, it's we're born here to test our souls. So uh, if we knew everything, there you go. It's like you're you're taking a test with you already know knowing the answers, and there's no point in being born on this in this three dimensional world. And there's no point of reincarnation. And there's no uh, you won't be able to uh, gain any soul's growth. So. Uh, however, uh, our guardian spirit knows, and um, that's why in Happy Science, uh, we have many seminars, uh, contemplation seminars, or contemplative meditation seminars, uh, where we can really uh, deeply connect to our guardian spirits or even higher spirits, such as guiding spirits, and then gain inspirations from them. Um, it's, kind of, it's like a, a spiritual insight. And then um, a lot of the members say that they've seen the, their guardian spirits talk to them in their meditation or during a seminar. Or they hear, um, like, you know, an inner voice, which is their guardian spirit usually, um, allowing them know, like, advices in their life. Uh, so it's like a contemplative meditative seminar. We have many types at Happy Science uh, temples and Shibu Shojas. And um, so that's the... Uh, how should I say this? That's a wonderful uh, method that Master Okawa has taught us uh, in order to gain hints in how to solve our life's issues when we uh, face them. And another thing that I would like to say regarding today's words of wisdom is sometimes uh, as a minister, um, people come to me asking like, uh, can you read my past life? Or do you do fortune telling? And, I mean, Master Okawa can, but of course uh, I can't, uh, none of the disciples can. But um, when I hear that, it kind of like, mm, I don't know, it, I can understand that people would want to know their past lives and people would want to know, like, their fate. Uh, but I, that's probably why fortune telling is, you know, um, a lot of people go to it. But it's like... Mm, we're not really fond of that because you're asking someone else to draft out your life plan. And a lot of the times, I mean, fortune telling, you don't know how true it is or how right it is. Uh, and to, to be honest, there are a lot of scam artists out there too. So we're more heavily based on self-help and by refining your soul, by practicing self-reflection correctly, and by reciting the sutras morning and night, and by having your mind more transparent, uh, something called your thought tape gets cleared up. And then when it gets cleared up, uh, you start gaining more inspirations from your guardian spirit. So then you'll start knowing your life plans and your fates and like what you were born here for, what your mission is, what decision you should make. All of that can be... Um, in a way self-evident because you gain that inspiration from your own guardian spirit through your own efforts of refining your mind. So if you would like to know your past life or if you'd like to know your life plan, instead of going to a fortune teller, we rather recommend uh, you practicing and disciplining your mind, exploring, exploring the right mind. By doing so, you'll be able to uh, grasp it in a way by yourself. So uh, please, um, what I'd like to say is instead of relying on an outside power, uh, connect to that outside power through your self-effort, through your discipline of refining your soul and your mind. Uh, that'll be it for today. Let me quote it to end today's video. 
Your guardian spirit knows your life plan and what you intended to accomplish in this lifetime from the challenge of the mind by Master Okawa. Thank you very much.